Hi everyone, Martin here. Right, I just wanted to show you all how to um, format our code on Discord. I've noticed a lot of students are, they're just pasting the text in. Uh, whereas uh, Discord's actually got, um, it uses Markdown to be able to format your code and it ends up looking great. And, and they've got support for hundreds of different languages. Okay, so the way that we start is that we first put three open back ticks like this. Um, and then and then I'm pushing um, shift enter and then three back ticks at the bottom. So now this is formatted code. Let me just put this in quickly. Okay, so we've actually got um, a code block here. Uh, you can see that if I was to take this out and put it over here, that's not the same um, font as, as it is over there. Now, there's just one more thing you need to do is you need to go and put the language at the top here. So you can put JS. Now you can see that it's formatted like this. You can put JSX for React. Um, it's even got TypeScript support. Uh, so if we'd have over here um, string, you can see that it's actually gone red as opposed to if we just had JavaScript there. Uh, and it supports like hundreds of different languages. Uh, so in the future, please try and make sure that, that you do um, format your code like this. There must not be a line like that. Can you see it breaks? It has to be, it has to be on its own line. Um, and then when you are in editing like this, you just want to actually push shift enter. Um, I think it's because, can you see it's actually not working now? There's a space here. So the syntax for this top part is very important. There must be no spaces or anything. Um, the three back ticks and then the JS. Uh, so now in, in Norway, your keyboard uh, is this keyboard, I believe. And I think the back tick is this key over here that you're going to be looking for. Uh, whereas usually on your United States keyboard, uh, usually the back tick is over here. Um, so I think in your keyboard, here is the back ticks. Okay. And, and sorry, just one last thing. Um, so this is when you've actually got a code block. You can also do an inline um, sort of code formatting. So let's just say uh, this is a console.log. And then we can just do console.log. Hello. And then let's close that. There you go. Right. Cheers.